Hello, gentlemen. Uh, good day. We have been on this job for the past few days. We have a uh, 70 panel of uh, 625 watts here. You can see the whole roof is is flooded with the 625 watt uh, solar panel. What is our mission? Our mission is to get uh, a panel that can charge 25 kilowatt litre of battery. But what we have done is 100 kilowatt. We have uh, 25 kilowatts for pieces here, yeah? but our target is, uh, is to have uh, a panel that would generate uh, from the sun what can charge 1.5 watt uh, panel. So I'm going to be calculating for you how uh, we are going to arrive or what we charge that panel. So each panel that we have, as I said, for my follow-ups, we have uh, we have 625. 625 times 70 pieces that is 43,750. Then you divide with 1,000, divide by 1,000. So, what we are generating at the peak zone, we are generating 43,000, uh, 43.7 kilowatt, uh, 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 uh PV. That is, so now we are going down. That is to show you how we did our how we did our connection. It's very simple. At peak hour, you will have 43 point something kilowatt. So now, just check the roof. For those of you that will be asking me how do we do the connection, but depends on the inverter that you are using. If you are using an high voltage uh, inverter, your connection will be different than when you are not using an high voltage uh, inverter. What I mean by high voltage? Some inverter is carrying uh, have a 500 volts, while some the voltage is not up to. So in that case, your your PV connection will be different. So I'm going down. I'm going to the control room to show you what we actually did, how we did our connection. I'm I'm also going to show you our 25 kilowatt lithium battery. So thank you very much. We are going down, so you can pause this video. So uh, gentlemen, here right now we are in the control room. As you can see, we have the numbers of uh, Felix inverter that we have here, we have up to about uh, 40 kVA. These are 55 kVA unit we have for here, and these are 10 kVA. This is also 10 kVA. Then we have uh, four pieces of uh, 525 kilowatt. You can see now it's at 99 percent. It's still charging, so you can see. So now, uh, in this uh, this 25 kilowatt, as I said, if you if, if you take a look, okay, you want to know the ampage that is charging this battery. It's already here. It's showing on the on the screen here. This is 2.2. Then when you press again, you see we show you the the kilowatt that is entering into the battery that is charging now. Is 100 percent okay. This is 100 percent. So as I said, from uh, during the day, from what we have generated from the panel, it shows that it's charging. It's charging this. Uh, it's charging this battery. If it's not charging, you will see that you will see the kilowatt load that is drawing. This is just to about to fall now. Everything is still 100 percent, 99 percent. Show that it's still charging. That's why the load. So. Now, for you to know the load in each of this uh, of this inverter that this inverter is drawing, it just just come down, press like this. You can see, you can see. So let's go. We will check the load. This is the load. You can see each of this load is seven. Okay, let me take it to. That is this, this is just seven forty two two watt loads. So if you divide it by one thousand, I will give you. 0 0.72 something kilowatts so just same likewise same likewise same with all this inverter so for me to know the kilowatt this particular inverter is a three phase what we did here is a three phase each of this unit this one is on one phase this is on one phase and this this unit is also on one phase depends on the load so, so let's check the load this is this particular inverter is carrying 45 percent load. Each this inverter, the total kilowatt load is carrying 
is carrying 3.62 kilowatts. You can see. But the maximum load of this inverter is 8, is 8 kilowatts. So but it's 10 kVA, but you don't need to read the threshold. The maximum load is 8 kilowatts. So now this is our PV. I have explained this in our previous video. For those of you, someone called me uh, about the PV. Uh, this is this is surge. We have the positive and we have the, the negative. So because of this video, I don't want it to make to make it long. We have the positive and we also have the negative. And this is the PV breaker. You can see it's connected to the positive and the negative of the PV. Then you take under there is earth there, just take it to the general earth of the building. So while doing this, just make sure that your earth system in the building is working. So we'll talk about the the protection system, uh, different type of uh, protection system for the surge. We are going to explain that. Follow us on our page. We will review to you how we do our connection. And then for this, as I told you, because this uh, inverter, this inverter, inverter one and the inverter three is having a separate charge controller because it's not an hybrid. So it's, it's having its own separate charge controller. Why this is an average system, he has his own personal charge controller A. So thank you for watching our video. If there's any other information, maybe you need to ask us. I will do our connection. I believe I've explained how we did our connection, how to connect the battery in our previous video. Just go back and watch. If you have any other any other question, please write on our page. For my our number is here, or you chat also, we'll follow you up. So thank you for watching this video subscribe and also share. Thank you.